Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany and in today's video we're going to be trying for first impressions the rest of the products that I recently bought. Don't mind my nail. I was doing a look last night and I went to, I don't know, somehow ended up popping it off and it hurt like a bitch. So I plan on fixing that tonight but today's video we're going to be trying some of this again. Disclaimer, it may be stuff that's you know, you've already tried, but this is stuff that I have not tried. So this is my first impression, again, my own opinion. And this is just stuff that I would recommend to you guys based off from if I like it. <laughs> um, if you guys hear anything in the background, I have my window open. So I apologize if you guys hear kids, or dogs, or a lion and tigers. With this quarantine shit going on, you never know what you're going to hear outside, to be quite honest. So today's video... I have not tried this yet. This is by ColourPop. This is the I Love Sarah ColourPop collection um, through my eyes. So we're going to be using this as well as I'm going to be incorporating some of my new glitters by Dear Katie Brown. I was excited to try these. I have not tried them yet. Shipping was really fast. They're very inexpensive. They are beautiful. I have these and then I have a couple um just like the single ones, so I'm not gonna open them. I still have to put them in my um, thingy majigger, but trying to see if this will like not get a glare. Apparently not. This one is Spiritual Rebellion. This one is Kaylin. And then this one is Till We Meet. So I know it's kind of hard to see them, but at least gave you the name so if you want to go on her site i will leave her site for her um store down below shipping was really fast very inexpensive even her products very inexpensive and i swatched one of them and i love the way it felt i love the way it smelled so i'm excited to see how well it looks on her eyes i love me some glitter um so i also have that and I have not tried this yet. I got this in a Allure box a while ago. It's the Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer. Priming Moisturizer. It's by First Aid Beauty. So I'm excited to try that. And then last but not least, I have this Loose Highlighting Powder from Wet n Wild. In the shade I'm So Lit. So, without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to moisturize my face first. And as you guys always know... I do my eyes first because you never know there could be fallout and as much as I don't mind fallout I also like to not have to go back in to redo my face makeup so that is why I saved that for last. Again my holy grail my belief aqua bomb it's amazing. You really should go pick this up. This video is not sponsored, even though I really wish it was because I really love Belief. And I have a couple of mini products that I haven't really tested yet, but I've had this for a while. And I've said this in my previous videos. I've had this for over a year. This is the 25 milliliter, 84.84 fluid ounce. This I think was $22 at Sephora. I bought this like last year, maybe the year before. I don't know. I've repurchased this a couple times. And if you have dry ass skin, this is perfect. So, just wanted to put that out there. So, let me grab one of my favorite go-to brushes to use. Oh, I'm also going to be somehow probably incorporating this. This is Katie Brown, Dear Katie Brown Glitter Liner. It's Razor Shine Glitter Liner. And this is obviously the neon pink, but it's in shade Flirt. So, let's see where did my brush go. I really probably should end up cleaning all of this again because it's a mess. So, yeah. I really should. Because then I wonder why I can't find things half the time. It's because it's all on my desk and I can't find it. Because it's not clean. So, you see me scrambling? That's really only what the problem is I probably should clean this again I just have a tendency to like stuff that I use more or less pretty much brushes and I leave them all out 
instead of putting them back. I have a bad habit of doing that. So for primer today, I'm going to be using my lovely, I love this concealer so much, the 16 hour camo concealer by e.l.f. This is in shade Fair Warm. I'm going to do one eye on, one eye off. No lashes today. Just because I don't feel like freaking with them again. Because I'm honestly sick and tired of them. Because the past few days I've been having a struggle putting them on. So it's like I am not even. I don't know why I use this brush with this. I really should just use my sponge. Yeah, we're going to use that sponge. So how is everybody doing? I hope you're all okay. Hanging in there from this damn shit. What's going on? I'll put that there. So I'm going to grab my ColourPop palette. So since I want to incorporate the glitters, I'm going to kind of do something that I obviously can use glitters with. Fuck. Oops. I just... See, I have a problem with digging in the eyeshadow. <sighs> Shit. No oh, well. Well, anyways. Kind of think. Hmm. Okay. I have an idea. So I'm going to take my blending brush from Beach Cosmetics. And I'm going to dip into I'm a Wink, which is like this brow bone shade right here. And we're going to put that in our crease. Now, ColourPop is another one of my favorite brands. I definitely love me some ColourPop. I'm going to actually put that down in. Use my Jeffree Star mirror. I'm so used to using this mirror. Now we're just gonna blend her out. I'm gonna use this as our transition shade. Oh, and I um tweezed my eyebrows last night because I was so sick and tired of looking at them, and I'm not gonna wait to get them waxed because I was sick and tired of seeing the way they looked in my eye looks. And I would try to smooth it out the best I could so, like, the eye look could look, like, decent. And I was like, you know what? We're going to actually dip into sandalwood, too. So it's more of a lighter shade. Okay. Now we're going to dip into Euphoric. We're going to put that back in our crease as well. And if you're doing it, following these steps, it should look something like that. And then I'm going to take my ColourPop E2 and I'm going to dip into Wild Soul, which is this mustard looking shade and pop this into the crease as well to kind of warm everything up. I literally want to buy an entire set of brushes from ColourPop. Because I'm obsessed with this brush and how soft it is. And it's very inexpensive. I mean, obviously ColourPop is very inexpensive anyway. But I really especially love this blending brush. And I'm not going to do anything too fancy today since I'm going to incorporate glitter. Because we don't want it to be over, like overly done. So I'm going to dip into Mui. We're going to go on our outer corner. Okay, we're going to dip into another brush. And I never know how these shades are going to blend the darker ones with ColourPop. Because sometimes they're a little patchy. So far, the shade is decent. It's okay. Like, I'm not having any problems. I'm going to dip into Emerald Dream Melon. 
and blend her a little bit more. And then I'm going to take Emerald Dream and put it on my lid. Oops. Okay, we're gonna let her. Could also use my finger now that I don't have a nail on this one. It's a little easier to put shadow on. Which that might be what I might end up doing. Because I don't know. Oh well. Well, it's not bad with the brush. We're gonna use our finger too. Okay, yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's better. I think that's actually pretty. Okay, now before I go ahead and do the under my lash line, I want to see which glitter I'm going to use on my lid. I think we should use Liberty. Now, Liberty is the shade right here. Oh, wow. That's really freaking pretty. I'm actually gonna die. Like, look at this. Oh my god. Wow. Holy shit. Do you guys see that? Let me just. Do you guys see this? Like, look. That is gorgeous. All right, I really, really, really like these glitters. Like, I'm fucking gonna buy more. That was so easy to put on, and there was hardly any glitter fallout. Like, oh my god, I'm impressed. But I do want to sweep away what fallout I do have underneath before I go in and take the rest of it off with a makeup wipe and I just fucking smeared it all over okay well before I go off camera to finish the other eye I'm just put on some mascara I'm gonna do this like I'm really impressed that was beautiful like I love that and I mean brown eyes it's like shit I'm really impressed. So I'm gonna see what I have on this brush. Okay, nothing really. So I'm gonna use this. And I'm gonna go in with this brush. And I'm gonna blend it a little more right there. And we'll do the inner corner while we're on here. Dip in my brush and dip into Lucido. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm sorry, I have allergies, I apologize. Oh, no, my nose is just... All right, so I'm gonna go off camera, finish the other eye, put on some mascara, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back. These are the complete eyes. I think the glitter is absolutely, oh my God, I still have some of my finger, absolutely freaking stunning, like literally stunning. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the face. Um, mascara I use is one of my go-tos. It's the Mile High Club from Wander Beauty. So if you really like mascara that is volumizing and gives you length, I would recommend picking this up. 
So now we'll go on to the face. I'm just gonna make sure I have glitter off my hands because I'd rather not put more glitter on my face than I already have. So I'm gonna go in with this primer. Oops, I got some on my nose. Mmm, smells like candy. Do that. I'm gonna do this. It smells creamy. Mmm, it smells like sweet tarts. Don't mind my hair, by the way. Mmm, it smells good. So for my usual, I'm using this CoverGirl Milk Foundation. Skin Milk, I think it's foundation. Yes, I just want to make sure because it's a little lighter than usual than the usual foundation. I want to make sure. I'm going to spray my beauty sponge. And we're going to put some on our face. This has been a go-to that I've been using all week. Like, I really actually like it. I don't care for the coconut smell, but it's not too bad. Press it into my skin. It's freaking hair. glitter on my face. I am sorry. Because I know I do. <laughs> yeah, I really like this. It matches me well. I'm gonna go in with a blush. Now, either I need to moisturize more, let me fix my nose ring. Oh my god, I'm so sick of this glitter. Nothing is getting it off. All right, whatever. We tried, right? I actually might have to wash my beauty sponge now. It's really not that big of a deal. I just like to be over dramatic. I'm gonna put some of my bronzer on. And then we will do highlighter. This is my favorite bronzer ever. I actually just bought a second one. We'll see in my haul video, my last haul video I did. That by the time you see this video, it will already be up. So, and one of my favorite bronzers ever. Like, I like this. Oh, I don't know why I'm red. I like this even more than Hula bronzer. Like, can you believe that? And I love Hula. But I think the only thing I don't like about glitter, which I know it's any glitter you use, is just the fallout. Like, don't get me wrong, I love me some glitter. But I don't like when it's all over my face. That's the only thing I don't like. The only thing. Let me grab this. Try to see if I can get it off. Mm. 
Yeah, I think she's stuck there for now. Eh, who cares? It's not like we're going anywhere anyway, you know. So, where's my clear brow gel? Actually, if I can, I really need to clean this shit off. I'm not going to put anything on my brows today. I'm just going to bump them up. Fluff them up. So we're gonna open this loose highlighter. And try her out. Peel here. What? I don't get it. Oh, okay. Isn't it supposed to be a little easier where it says peel here? I feel like it's not. Oh. Where are my tweezies? I think I have another pair in here. Because this is being difficult. It says, oh hey, peel here, but we're going to make it even harder for you to open it just because... Maybe it's because it knows I don't have anything better to do right now. Okay, it's coming. She coming. Okay, holy shit, I just got that all over me. Okay. I'm going to take some of her. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, she's blinding, and by blinding, I mean I just put a lot on my face. Ooh. I like her though, that's beautiful, holy shit. <laughs> Put some on my brow. I should use a smaller brush. Yeah. Oh, she's pigmented. Now let's put on some blush. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Blush. Okay. Let me put some my dewy spray on. Okay, so, oh, stupid shit. Anyways, so first impressions. I really like this actually, and I thought that the dark shade, this blue shade right here, wasn't actually hard or hard to blend or patchy. So I'm really surprised because I know sometimes the darker colors for ColourPop are, can be a little wonky. Obviously I love ColourPop, no hate to them. I just know that's how a lot of people feel. Um, these glitters are fucking amazing. They are beautiful. Obviously, the only thing I hate about glitter is it gets everywhere. But I think next time I might do my face and powder it before I put on glitter. Because that's probably a better option. So, I obviously didn't try this, but I will swatch it. Just because you guys are probably like, okay, well, you showed us pink. I kind of want to see. Kind of hard to swatch, but you guys can see that. I think it's beautiful. I will be using that soon. Um, as for this, I think this is nice. 
usually I'm kind of concerned to use like um I believe this helps minimize pores too I think I'm not entirely sure but usually something like this I'm kind of usually afraid to put all over my face but it's very hydrating I love the smell it smelled like sweet tarts so now I want some um and then the loose highlighter I thought was amazing I think this is beautiful and for as cheap as it is, oh my god, you need to go pick it up now, sister. Like, now. So, I think that was it for this video. But, anyways, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in my next video. Also, just want to remind y'all, I will be doing a giveaway within the next few months. So with everything that's going on right now, I'm not really going to do a giveaway yet, but when I do, there's going to be, it's going to be basically one giveaway where regardless if you're subscribed to my channel, like there'll be rules obviously to subscribe to my channel, but where I'll, I'll be, be hosting it basically on my social medias, but it's going to be one giveaway, but it's going to be done, I think maybe on Twitter. I'm not sure really how it's going to go about, but basically rules are going to be pretty simple. Just subscribe to my YouTube channel, my um, Instagram account, and Twitter. So, I mean, like I said, I don't really have full disclosure yet of it because it's going to be a few months. But I just wanted to mention that it's not going to be like, oh, I'm going to do separate giveaways for each channel. That's not how it's going to be just because... I kind of want to wait. I decided I want to wait till I get more subscribers and um, followers. So that way, like when I do want to do a separate giveaway, it's kind of like I'm not doing too, too many at once. Just because I don't have a lot of money to give back yet. And I want to make sure that, you know, I might do two small ones. I don't know. I don't really know what's going to be the giveaway as of yet. I have ideas, but I haven't really bought in anything, but I just wanted to let you guys know that there is going to be a giveaway, but it's not going to be right yet. So I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.